Yo what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you how you can fix Fortnite FPS drops or your Fortnite having freezes and stutter you know especially here in chapter 3 season 3 and the method I'm going to show you is super super easy and simple to do guys it's pretty much only two small files and it's gonna fix it 100% if you guys enjoyed this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would have made so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic and yeah guys what I want you to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website guys and here on the top you can already see fps boost input delay switch resolution and pretty much like all the categories and we're going to click onto fps boost this is going to redirect us here to a new site guys and on the top it should be a post here with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now again click onto it guys and you should get redirected here and then you're going to click here onto download which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can download the zip file guys if it's not a zip file it's not exactly what we're going to talk about guys and the pack should be called fake stutter and what we're going to do is in the first place extract it all here onto our desktop and in there now we should have two specific things and in the first place we're going to take a look here at run with affinity because this is already something which i've been using here for a super long time guys we're going to click onto the exit and now you can see you now that we pretty much have like here this new program opened in which we can now select our Fortnite. Yeah, I'm just gonna show it real quick. Go into your um, PC on your local disk um, C or wherever you have Fortnite. Then you're gonna go into program files and then you should have here Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64. And what you guys gotta do is select your Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exe guys. Super, super important. And what we can now do in here guys is make sure that we actually select the maximum amount of threads or CPU cores which our CPU can offer to run Fortnite with. So as you can see for me here guys, it's an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 8 core 16 thread CPU. So therefore I can actually select 16 here and now go on to create a shortcut guys. But I already got it here on my PC because I already did this before and I actually launched my Fortnite over this shortcut. And what this is going to make sure is that my Fortnite is always gonna run with an affinity set to 16, which means all of my threads are actually going to work towards Fortnite making sure that it's gonna utilize 100% of my CPU while gaming, guys. Super, super important and just like a nice feature overall. You can also use this, by the way, for other games. So let's just say that you wanna run maybe like Warzone over it or CS, Valorant. You can also do this. Super, super helpful. I'm just gonna leave it here on my desktop again. And once you get this extra now on your PC, guys, you pretty much always get to run Fortnite above this. It should say literally here, run with affinity. You can, of course, also rename it to Fortnite, you know, delete like the old one here. But you should definitely launch your Fortnite over this extra, guys. And now let's continue with the next step. And in the next step, we're now going to take a look here at fixed launcher bug, guys, because there's actually a pretty known issue where your Epic Games launcher is not refreshing consistently in the background, which causes your game to crash, guys. So therefore, super, super important. Again, click onto it and you can now see here, do you really want to add this registry tweak and then do the following registry. We're gonna click onto yes guys and you can now here see that it's been applied successfully to your PC and this should prevent your Epic Games launcher from freezing more or less because this is what happened to me as well like after the new Fortnite season that my Epic Games launcher out of nowhere freeze which caused my game of course also to crash so this one should be fixed now as well and now we're pretty much done here. And yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below I try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome I'm out peace.